Hello guys, the world's worst driver here, and welcome to another video. In today's video, we will be doing something very special for you guys, because today, we will be attempting to beat Ayrton Senna's lap time at Interlagos, more specifically his pole lap at Interlagos for the 1991 Brazilian Grand Prix and we will be using the exact car that Senna used in 1991 to set this pole lap. Along the way I'll be uh, telling you a few facts about 1991 and a few other things about the Brazilian Grand Prix that you might not have heard of. So without further ado I suppose we should just get into it. So here we are, we are now in Interlagos in our McLaren MP46 which is the car that Ayrton Senna drove to win the 1991 Brazilian Grand Prix. He won it in actually a very incredible way on the, the 54th lap of the 1991 Brazilian Grand Prix, Senna, Senna's gearbox actually jammed, believe it or not. So he had to drive the rest of the, what, 13 laps of the race left or something like that without, with his gearbox being jammed and only having six gear. And someone, somebody said on the film Senna that it should have been impossible to drive a car that only has six gear. But, well, Senna did it. So, yeah, I suppose we shall begin our outlap. Let's just exit the pit lane. Oh, wow. This car has such a nice engine sound. Whoa! I absolutely love this car. Oh, I'm just going to do my outlap. I will see you. Once I have finished my outlap. Alright, so we're just about to finish my outlap right now. We are currently on the main straight of this circuit. A very nice circuit, I have to say. Going at 186 miles per hour. Braking! Oh, touching the grass right there. As you can see, I am not the best sim racer ever. Stop touching the grass and the curbs. Stop going off for goodness sake. Whoa, this is... I've had a few practice runs beforehand to prepare myself for this. But not... I haven't done much. It's so much harder without having the racing line to help you. Right. Back on the main straight. Let's see what sort of time we can get. Okay, 118.119. So the time to beat, according to my calculations, is a 116.392 or something. That's the time that Senna set for the 1991 Brazilian Grand Prix during qualifying. So, yeah, I think what we'll do, we'll go and make a few changes to the car. Well, actually, in fact, we'll go out for one more one more run. Flipping heck. We'll go out for one more run on this base setup. Oh, hitting the grass there. We'll go out for one more run on this setup. And then I think we will change our setup slightly. See if we could maybe get a faster time without changing the setup. I'll be back in a sec. Back on this straight again. I've just forgotten how much, how beautiful that Honda engine sounds. These were really the good years of Formula One. Let's be careful. Let's see if we can beat that time of ours. The 118.19 that we just set there. A modern F1 car could Probably rather easily beat the time we're trying to beat. 
but ah, oh, damn it! You need to stop talking for goodness' sake. My goodness. Okay, so we are back again. I've just done another outlap after the spinning there horrendously. Break into the first corner. I think that corner is called Ayrton Center Corner or something, or Ayrton Center Chicane or something like that. So yeah, it is a very famous corner. Oh, ah, damn it! How many times are you gonna make that mistake, for goodness' sake? Better. Ah, oh, damn it! How many times are you gonna make that mistake, mate? Goodness me! Still, 118.19 to beat. Okay, so we are back again. Finally, after changing, making some much needed changes to the setup. That already feels a lot better, I have to say. Right, once again, I'll see you after I've done my outlap. So I'll see you till then. Okay, after several failed attempts, we're finally onto our second proper lap. I hope that is. Passing the DRS zone for modern F1 cars. Braking. Going wide there slightly. I'd say I'm like Jimmy Broadbent. I'm not that good at hot lapping. But then again, I'm not really a professional sim racer like him. Breaking early into there because I don't want to make the same mistakes that I've been doing previously. No, I think I need to be a bit braver in some of these corners if I'm going to beat that lap time, I have to say. Come on. Let's see what time we get now. Oh, wait a minute. How did we do that? We already beat the time. So Senna's time was 116.392. Even with a couple of mistakes I managed to do already. Blimey neck. Cannot believe that. <laughs> so there you go. 1 minute 16.289. If I kept doing this, I probably could go a lot quicker. But well, that ain't what the video is uh, about really. So I hope you enjoyed this video guys. I have to say, these videos make you realise how much, how much driving talent was involved. How much talent was involved to drive cars like these. Because it isn't, it isn't just um, using a flappy paddle gearbox like you do nowadays. Back then it was an actual proper physical workout. You actually had to fight the car in certain corners. Pulling all those G-forces and things like that. Imagine that. So it just makes you appreciate how much these drivers had to sacrifice to deliver us this quality driving that you see from them. So I'm just going to head back into the pits now. I hope you enjoyed that video. Please like, share and give and hit that subscribe button if you are new to the channel. And I will see you guys in the next one.